everyone. So today I want to show you how to create those beautiful blurry backgrounds that you see. It's kind of like what the portrait mode on your iPhone does, but I want to show you how you can do that with any camera you have. So there's basically four ways that you can create that. One, the, if your camera is able to change out lenses, the longer the lens, the more blur you're going to get. So if you have the option, choose the longest lens that you can reasonably use, right? Um, so for example, if you're in a small room, using a 200 millimeter might not be realistic. So pick one that is, um, it, that will give you enough room, but that is the longest that you can use. Um, as opposed to using like a 35, for example. A 50 is my favorite, like between 50 and 85 is my favorite. Now, once you've chosen your lens, the other option now is to change your aperture. So if you can adjust your aperture on your lens, I would go with the lowest aperture possible. That's how you can maximize the amount of blur that you have. So now that you've, let's say if you have a really nice lens, then you can go either 1.2 or 2.0. And if not, then your lens might do 5.6 or something like that. But um, choose the lowest possible there. So the next thing is I want you to think about aperture like a giant loaf of bread. So pretend this room right now that you're seeing is a giant loaf of bread. And so we can now slice up the bread, right? So the smaller the aperture, the thinner these slices of bread. Are. And the bigger the aperture, the thicker the slice of bread is. So for example, if you're shooting on 1.2, we're talking about like sheets of lavash here going down, right? And if we're talking about aperture of say 11, then we're talking about like maybe thick cut French toast bread going down. So whenever, whatever your aperture is set as, that's how thick your slice of bread is. And that's how, that one slice of bread is how much will be in focus. So for example, what you see here, there's a lot of like these hanging air plants going on, right? So I have my camera set on 2.8 right now, which is pretty shallow. So if you picture this giant loaf of bread, we're slicing it up, 2.8 is pretty thin. So the difference between standing here versus this here, this is gonna be blurry compared to this because only whatever is on my same slice of bread is gonna be in focus. So you can think of it like raisin bread. Only the raisins on the same slice of bread will be in focus. And the further you are from the slice of bread, the more blur you're gonna get. So this slice of bread is only one slice away, so it'll be a little bit more in focus compared to this, which is like maybe three or four slices away. And if you're all the way at the back of the end of the loaf, then you're gonna be a lot more blurry, right? So if you change your aperture to say like 11, then what you've done is increase the thickness of the slice of bread and so more of the raisins will be in focus now. So um, that's my challenge to you today. Get out there and shoot a photo with lots of pretty blurry backgrounds. So if you can, choose the longest lens you can and shoot at the lowest aperture. But once you're at the lowest aperture, try to separate whatever you want blurry away from your subject. And that's how you will get all those other stuff to blur out and keep maintain just your subject and focus. Um, oh, and there's one more that I forgot to share. So the, the other option is if you get closer to your subject. So I don't know if the video is gonna do this, but we'll try it. As I get closer to you, assuming that the autofocus is working right now, now the closer I get to you, the more compression there is. And so as a result, more of that stuff is gonna be blurry compared to when I was way back here. So once you choose your lens and your aperture, the two things I want you to try doing to get maximum blur is separating your subject from all the other clutter and get as close to your subject as you can. And I, let's see those blurry pictures. So remember to hashtag CT Lighting Challenge so I can see as well.